Welcome back everybody to the ECC Division 2 playoffs on stream. We did just see some of those talks and won 4 2 over Code 4. And now we're going to advance the winners bracket final, the winner of this next series. We're going to some again playing against Trinitas Esports Odyssey. We also got a 4 2 win of Lanners. And so, yeah, big match. These two teams fighting for a place in tomorrow's grand finals. Of course, my name is Faded, joined again by the one and only Ginge. Of course, we had a fantastic game on the team, uh, last time and our even bigger one uh, here. This one is massively important. Can't wait to see more insane action. Yeah, big game here tonight. You know, we see, we do see Keza have to stand in for Cristiano. You know, Keza is an Astro Pegasus player here. You know, let's see how the synergy for Minty, Dylan and Keza works out here. You know, it might be a completely different story. They might crumble, but, uh, you know, we just saw Trinitas, like you said, get that 4-2, so... It's going to be a pretty interesting game here tonight. I mean, I don't really think you can call a prediction straight away like we normally can, but uh, as uh, as players start to join... Oh, no. There we are. But predictions, I'd probably have to wait till the game one, you know. I don't know how you'd go about this game here. Yeah, exactly. It's a tough one to call, and I mean, we're going to be getting started with this, but yeah, this one could really go either way way to be honest um for sure task they did put up a good performance in their first game uh but same with symbiotes even though it was fairly shaky for parts of it so let's see what they can do here so here we are well underway we see rush trying to get his one started early um and it's our eyes like getting it back now is an a getting it into the box here it is going to boom down field and i think actually the side of uh Symbi is making a slight change here because they wasn't here last time uh, so now we are seeing him playing in, in for this match. As they see him putting it down the field, it is Lachi to try to get it uh, out and away. Now Dylan, who was really stepping up a lot in the last series, should I get up for that? But he is beat to it as the Rush puts it to the center. Isaac off the backboard, dropping down kids at eight. Poor clearance, that gives a free shot with Lachi. He does take it, slams it into the right side. And it is the side of Trinitas to up for. Yeah, Keza passing the ball straight until actually, you know, Dylan did try to do that back post rotation, but cut it a little too short, and that leads, that leads it to Trinitas getting a one goal, goal, one goal, goal, yep, a one goal ahead of Toxin here tonight. You know, oh, beautiful fake by Lachi. Oh, this is a very abrupt start in less than a minute. We've got two goals, you know. Actually, just managing to dunk Minty there, managing to open that for it. Just what a finish. Yeah, good stuff from Lachi getting two goals himself already. That time, I uh, didn't need anyone's help. He just took it all by himself. So good stuff here. That is Trinitas setting the pace here to begin with. Here's Lachi again, does not get up to that ball, but it's Isaac there. Attempting a flip reset, it is still in there. We're we'll getting a long clear there. So, by a little bit of time for his team, is now. We are seeing this one being put in the field by Rush. Now, Lat shooting it forward. Minty going to be picking this one up. Gets the demo. Isaac now shooting chances off time. And Rush going to come in once again. And my word, flying start from Trinitas. Playing a very solid game so far. Yeah, that was a massive effort of Lach and made it. Life hell there for Dylan. Sat there like a sitting dark. Yeah, like you were saying, Dylan just, you can't do much in that position, you know. Just Trinitas here are just outplaying Toxin. There's not much else to it. They're just playing like a better team. You know, maybe that sub out for Cristiano to Keza wasn't the play, but maybe it was needed, you know. But Toxin are going to have to come back. We see Minty tries taking the shot, but gets cleared by Rush. Dylan there, it's a questionable fake. Doesn't really end where you ideally want to, actually, with a shot and. Keza's just sat on the back post, just looking at the ball there, you know. What do you do? Yeah, what do you do, to be honest? 4-0 there, that's Lachi. Already with his hat trick, my words, being off to a really fast start. So, you know, Symbios, it's maybe a problem that we highlighted before, um, you know, defensively. Um, you know, they got absolutely smashed in one of the games the previous uh, series they had. And you know, it is right here again, this little bit out of position for everything, not covering uh, the options well. And that is Isaac being in once more. Uh, what a player uh, he's been thus far as well. So we see Minty with not much boost. Has just basically hand that one over. Now we see KZA trying to get this one out. He is demo for his efforts, but at least buys a little bit of time. 
As no, Isaac off the back wall. Okay, so they're gonna get it out and take it to the side. It's intercepted. He's got no boost to work with, but he's gonna try and make an effort anyway. Gets a pass one with Rush. Meaning very well. Gets this one out and I guess under one. He has to open net to shoot out, but he takes his time. Again, still and gets the flick. Well played from Rush. Recognize he had the space there. And five no at halfway through your judge. This is a complete out or dominant start as you've been putting it. This is a blood. Hound game, absolute mass slaughter on top. Then you know, five nil and just over half of the game. What, what's going to be going through Thompson's mind? You know, you know they've just come off of a four-two victory, so you, as well as Trent Do so you think both of them are going to be very, very happy with that result? But you know, Trent is just getting that upper hand, and obviously are more excited to go into this game and make grand finals than Toxin. It's looking like Bekeza with a beautiful dunk. Can Minty score? Minty with a weak shot. Dylan trying to pass it down into Keza, but just rolls the ball into mid and just misses his free flip now. Keza on the offense, plays it straight back into the hand of Trent has now. Isaac goes for it, Reich and Isaac with a pinch. Falls in the hands of Lachi now. Dylan's gonna try and play a clear, but he just passes it back to Lachi to make it 6-0 in this game. Man, that is just poor touch there from Dylan, and you know, that kind of touch just can't be happening. If he just booms it away, that's completely fine, but I mean, he's got the touch he was not needing, especially as the last man, you've got to be making sure you get into a safer position than that, and so, sure you're five goals down at that point, but mate, you've got to be clearing up these uh, errors that you're making, because this side of Trinitas, they've proven already what they're made of. And if you make even one slip up, they have that chance to capitalize on it. And so 90 seconds left, 6-0 to Trinitas so far. You know, a standout game from them as that one's whipped into the middle again. It is Minty to get onto this one because they're trying to take it out. Forces a you know, Bates in, Isaac, and now it will be Isaac back into Latchy. Can I get the shot on target? He can, Minty saves it. Because they're going to pick it up. And it might actually be an open net if because they can get the shot. And it is going to be the top shelf. So finally, it's a symbiote getting themselves on the board here. Yeah, about one time, Hoxton managed to get a goal onto the board, you know. But is this a good thing that they put a goal onto the board that leads? Trinidad has the open option of scoring one more to make it a Brazil, you know. I don't know how to feel about this, you know, especially as they've only got one goal on the board now. Toxins really got to turn it up and not just they even stand a chance in this game. Dylan now with a beautiful shot, but just gets saved by Isaac. Tries making another shot, but takes it off Minty. Minty now going to try go for it, but that falls short. Dylan now going to try play it off, but we have a Brazil in the first game. Wow, Rice with a, just a beautiful player managing to pop it over Dylan now. What what can you say here, you know? Seven one first game, Toxins in the mud for the first game. Alright, in the mud, in the bloody gutter is maybe where they are right now because my word, seven one, Brazil in the first game. Absolutely embarrassing uh from them to be honest. I feel like uh the side of symbiotes really were not prepared for what was coming at them. Should have tasked. I mean just look at them go fourteen shots, right? Up against six, over double and you know you can just tell the pit, you know, everything is really going better for the side of Trinidad. You know, they got the pace, you know, they got the shooting opportunities and everything. And whilst Kaiser they gets one goal back, it's really just going to be uh, for consolation and nothing more here. As, you know, Rush was caught in position there, so it was really well played uh, from Dylan. Uh, did it, you know, if he got that in, you know, that was cool, but also putting it wide off the post like that makes it awkward for the keeper. So, well played there, and uh, it's at least something and that they can take into the next game and make it a lot more competitive as in a dying second will be the side of um, Trinitas here now trying to make something out of their own half but uh, in the end another shot goes come through it is off the corner very unlucky for Kays today but in the end won't matter too much there will be the first game victory for the side of Trinitas Yep, 7-2 in the first game here Trinitas getting seven goals in the first four minutes here. You know, talk to managing to get two goals on the board, you know, it's only for consolation though. You can really compete with that seven goals, you know. It, it, we see f 15 shots from Trinitas compared to a measly nine from Toxin, which is still high. But Trinitas still managing to get 15 shots 
but managing to score seven goals. You know, what a first game for Odyssey here, but what a terrible game for Tolkien. You know, you've got to go back and rethink your strategy. It, this isn't code four. They're not going to hand you the ball because Odyssey are the ball. They are always on the ball. You've now got to rethink, right, how are we going to destroy and manage to get more than two goals on the board here? Yeah, really, it's obviously they have to think of how we get more than two goals. It's really, how do we not concede seven goals in a single game is the question they got to be asking themselves. Because, uh, my word, that defensive performance uh, was shockingly bad. And so, I think they know that themselves, really. And that's me putting it bluntly uh, with that one. They've got to do a lot better in this next game. And as you said, Code 4, Code 4 the kind of team that's going to fling the ball at you, really. Uh, whereas Trinitas, they have a lot more um, intention uh, when they take that ball, uh, really, and they know what they want to be doing with it. And it's worked out uh, very well so far from them, only letting in two goals, but scoring seven themselves. And so, yeah, huge score differential there. So we go into game two. What can side of Symbiotes do here? They've got a massive response. They're starting it off early. Minty with the shooting chance with Rush could be saving that. And now Dylan actually Pele flops onto the ball. Unfortunately for him, still the pressure is kept, at least for now as that is a big double commit, open it for Minty, will be able to bury it. That's exactly the start that's needed for Sunwell. Yeah, this is a start that was needed for Toxin there. You know, Keza did go for the awkward aerial there, manages to miss it, but it just leaves Minty with an open net. It's just gonna dominate 24 seven. This isn't day four where they might whiff an open net, but hey, Vortex people do that. But no, Minty manages to get the goal on the open net. Now we see Reich on the attack. Matt tr misses the flick. Still going to pass the ball into Keza. Now Keza tries getting another touch. Managed to get one over Isaac. Can get over Lachi. Manages to bump him though. Can we see Odyssey here with the counter attack? But now we see Minty with a big boom. We see Reich passes it into Isaac now. Can Isaac play it around Keza? Yes, he can. Pass it into Lachi. Into the corner. Back into Isaac. Just falling short of the goal. We see Lachi now back on the ball, manages to get a back pass into Reich. Kez is not going to be able to defend that. Can he get another counter attack? We could be seeing a ceiling pass there. But, oh, Isaac with an unfortunate hit. Lachi is third now. He's quite out of position. Now we see Minty on the counter attack. Managed to get just full short the reset edgeable there. Now Lachi with an open net. Can he score it? No. Decides to go for a corner pinch, but full short. Falls into the hands of Dylan now. We see Reich tries playing it back into himself with 10 boost. Gets it over Kesler. But Minty says no, and this might be a goal for it. Toxin, but Lachi says no. Managed to get the counter attack back. Now, is this an attack opportunity for Trinitas? Yeah, it will be an opportunity now. I mean, they are behind, but they are managing to you know, generate some offensive pressure now, slowly building themselves back into the game. But this Minty long clear again. Lachi up early, though, so we'll be able to shut down that opportunity. So it will be Minty with a challenge there. I'm trying to get back in, but Isaac there. What can you do with this? Gets it over two players because that has to get the boomer towards the back wall. Rush there into the side. He will get a second touch as well. And now, can he get this one down the field? He's got a player to work in the middle, but great bumps from Dylan. And now it is pinched to the side. Now off the back wall, he is bumped again, but it is cleared downfield. But there's plenty of space for Rush. What can he do? He does take it to the skies. Now here comes Isaac. Good shooting chance off the crossbar. Now Lachi into the corner, but his teammate is bumped, so it's a free clearance from Minty. And now, halfway into the game, we still see Symbios with a one goal lead, but for how long is the question? As that is dropped in, Keza back into Dylan, it is bought by Rush. And now we see Keza back up once again. You can see Symbios, they are playing with a lot more aggression, not giving as many chances, but now here comes a bump play. Dylan holds his nerve though, and manages to avoid that play. Now, out of the own corner is Keza having a bit of trouble with this, but surely Minty will be able to get out, and yes, he did well. Yeah, man managing Dylan managed to get the demo on Reich there, but Minty managed to play it to mid, but Isaac tries passing it to Lachi there, but Lachi falls short. Isaac misses the boost. Now he's boost deprived on collecting mini pads. Now we see Reich with a counter attack. Dylan, I mean, Minty's gonna counter attack now. Isaac plays it onto the wall. Try, Minty tries to move it, but falls into the hands of Lachi. Keza manages to do a backwards aerial, just passes it back into Lachi though, so he wastes a lot of boost. Can we see a counter attack coming in from Toxin now? Minty, one, passes it, but straight into Lachi now. Lachi with time, and Dylan says, No time for you. Isaac to Lachi. Lachi to Isaac. 
on to backboard now. Couldn't see the double. Oh no, Reich, Reich is committing as a third man now. We see Keza with an edge of ball. Just full short of getting the goal. Lachi gonna boom it now. Minty versus Lachi. Lachi gets the better 50. Isaac pops over Dylan. Now, can we see a shot coming out from now? Reich manages to full short, pulls back into Minty. Lachi now pulls it straight into Dylan. Dylan with a shot. Minty was trying to get in the redirect, but just full short. Dylan with a boom off backboard. I mean, wall even, you know. What a shot, manages to just dis discombobulate the uh, defender there. Rice just not knowing who's going to hit it. Is Minty going to hit it or is Dylan going to keep this goal? Yeah, really, Minty didn't have to hit the ball there. Of course, doing so would have been a lot better. But, I mean, Rich is the last man. He doesn't know if he's going to hit it or not. I mean, it had enough power on it where they could time that right. You can fake him out and in the end, it will just drop into the net. So. Yeah, big for the Symbiotes, 2-0 up now, and they are being put under pressure again, Rush trying to get it. Maybe he could tap it off again, the backboard it is awkward in front of the net, he gets the bump and Lachi comes in, but he misses the chance. And now Rush has to get it back into Isaac here. There's a golden opportunity for them to score, so Isaac goes in again, he gets a shot, because I can't save it. And finally they do score, so with 26 seconds there, the game is still on here, trying to have a chance to try and take it back. Finally, we see Odyssey get a goal onto the board. Missed the two, three times bronze tournament winner managed to score the goal here, you know. One, two, one, the top in here in this game. Can we see Odyssey? Oh no, Keza nearly own goaling that even. But Minty's not going to let that happen to make it a draw on the board. You know, we're going to have to see Odyssey put on all the pressure, but this is going to put, put gaps in the defense. We see Minty now on the offense. Can he pop it over one? No. Lachi with the boom. Reich now plays into mid. Dylan passes it into Isaac. Can Isaac make a play? Booms it onto corner. Oh, that is oh. Such a, that is such a shame. And not that is not the way you want to go out. Plays it off the corner. Just manages to fall short, but that's not what you want to see. You know. I mean, we do see top to the two-one victory, but Keza does have seventy points in this whole game. Yeah, I mean, Keza actually, I think his points actually don't really describe how well he plays because I mean. He was just doing everything right, really. Um, you know, making the touches he needed to make, and you know, I feel like he did a good job despite him, you know, seemingly on paper not doing much there. Uh, but still, it wasn't enough. Symbiotes a much, much better game there. Um, you know, the defense was a lot more solid, covering uh, their options pretty well. I mean, despite that late goal there, really well done overall. But I feel like still, uh, Trinitas absolutely have it in them to bring this one back. Uh, they put in a great effort that game. Uh, perhaps let's get out some chances. Oh my gosh, what a chance he had there. If I get into it, and they still keep the pressure. A big bump from Lachi actually. So Isaac gets it on that. He may be able to score, and he will do exactly that. A whole lot of power needed, and it will be 1 0 straight away for Trinitas. What a bump there from Lachi now. Just absolutely clarting Dylan out of net there. You know, that's just going to leave Isaac with an open net, and he's just going to dominate that 24 7, making it 1 0 in the game now. What is this kickoff going to determine? Keza gets a better kickoff. Lachi now misses off corner read. Minty misses the redirect. Falls in the hand of Isaac. Keza now with the counter attack. Is, is on target. Reich now nearly redirected into his own net. Keza now back on the offense. Falls into Lachi. We now see Isaac making the play down to the wall. Can Dylan do anything? Pass it back into Isaac. Isaac has no power on that shot to make a goal there. Keza's going to get that easy clear. Lachi's going to say no to that edge of offense there from Kesler. Yeah, now we're seeing some pressure coming out from Symbiotes, but they have to like go of it, and oh my, what a shot from Lachi again. In this trusty Octane, and you see that from Isaac, three-man passing play was beautifully executed. I see Kesler, no chance. Had to you read that shot very early to have a chance of saving it. Lachi, really good finish from him, and you see Brush as well, two assists to his name. He's been doing some good stuff so far. So opening minute against Trinitas, this is the first game having a really strong start. I look to keep this one uh, going if they can, but what does someone have to say about that? He tries to center, but easily blocked uh, by Rush there. Kez up, what can he do with that? He's blocked by Rush again, but he's got no boost now. Running on fumes now, he's dealing with the chance to shoot. Good save from Latchin. and now it'll be back down the other end as it is. Kez had to get a touch into the side. He does follow it up, but Rush is too quick to him. Latchi back into Rush, maybe. Rush at least tries to make it off for the opposing defense, gets the flick, it's on target, and he will actually flip it past the last defender, and it's now 
Ward a little play from right, you know, little flick from the corner gets over one and two Keza not being able to react in time to to save that to make it 3-0 in the series for Trinitas here, you know. That was such a nice little play, you know, just from corner itself and now we see Keza on the counter attack. Keza into corner, back into Lachi. Lachi misses the touch now. <laughs> Minty goes up for it, gets a reset even. Could be seeing a reset dunk, but just full short. Dylan now plays on the offense, but that falls straight into the hands of Lachi now. Minty to the middle. Isaac with a boom. Lachi tries getting the free flip. Could be seeing another shot here. Just full short. Dylan now with a shot back on to Trinitas. But Rish doesn't know. Yeah, never seen Lachi. What can he do with that? Not a whole lot. And Trinitas still keeping this pressure going. Uh, even though the shots are fairly even, I feel like. Trinitas ones have been a lot better. I mean, 75% uh, conversion rate. You know, been picking those chances very well and capitalizing off of them. And now it's going to be Isaac dunning in for that. It's loose in front of the net. Rush can't get up to it though. It will be Lachi now. Does keep it in the plate. A good touch. And now off the corner, Walt sends it for Rush. And he goes to take the shot. Oh, fantastic. Once again for Trinitas. The three man passing play. And you know, it shows that what these guys are made of, making these excellent touches to each other. And now 4 0 and half the game still to go. They are on far and on track to now take themselves back into the leads. Yeah, you really got to hope for Top Team now. I really thought that this game was going to be them breaking the show after the last game. What a spectacular game we had against from last game. But that's just faded. We've seen Odyssey absolutely dissemble all of Top Team's game plans, you know. What can you do at this point? You know, we went from a 7-2 to a 2-1 and now being 4-0 with just over two minutes left in this series. Lachi with a beautiful pre-flip. What a, what a goal there. Lachi, what a beautiful pre-flip to pass over Keza. Keza, where are you going? Dylan's not going to be back in time for that. Um, holy. Wow, that is just... Beautifully executed again, and there is a fake kickoff coming out actually uh, for a side of Trinitas. I think they're starting to get a little carried away, but can you blame them? They're having a light out performance in this game, and you know this is how we want to be seeing these teams play. This is a contrasting difference. Like Trinitas playing, you're know, having a great games, not just individually, but as a team where symbiotes. There's just hardly any of that. They're not prepared whatsoever for what Trinitas have to float throw at them. So Keza has to make an awkward save, we'll get to her and actually if we could get past Isaac, we have a chance for Lachi does cut in and so keeps the ball within his team's control. And so it is you know, Minty to get to her, Rush gets it into the centre, poor touch from Minty. Now it gives the chance for Isaac to get into the centre, gets some bumps as well, but he is then with eventually Minty gets it her and you know I think at this point for Symbiote's got to be trying something different here find a new approach to this game because Trinitas at the moment this seems like you know the way to play it's different teams so he comes in for one more latch he finds his hat trick and yeah my word he's been having a bang of the series so far 6-0 here 6-0 indeed faded what a beautiful pass and play there from Rish and Lachi these guys are farming Toxin and that's not something I use lightly you know we see Lachi just absolutely popping off, losing another shot opportunity, but then shuts it down. But what a series Odyssey of having, like, especially after losing last game, I have no idea what they've been saying in the locker room. Oh my god, Isaac, with a nearly beautiful reader right there, but holy, Toxin are in the mud. What a game for Odyssey here. Yeah, what a game, and there's a chance for Lachi to style on them once more with a double top tap chance, but we will to get it. I don't even think at this point, side of Symbiotes can get even one goal out of this game, as Minty does pick it up, so maybe he can try to salvage, you know, what he can out of this game. He has no boost to work with, at least puts it to the centre, Dylan on it, but blocked by Isaac once again, and now it's the middle, Rush trying to get it on target, he will, seventh. For the side of Trinitas, my word, absolutely battering the hell out of this uh, Symbiotes team. And you, you gotta wonder, can Symbiotes bounce back again? They did it once, at least, they already got smashed in the first game, 7-2. But I mean, not even goal on the boards here, Jin. Shaq just says a lot here. And now this next game has to come up. 
will very much test their mentality. Can they bounce back twice after being smashed in games uh, and get back at form? Because they can tell as well, Trinitas are having a spectacular performance in this game. Yeah, what a performance we've seen from Odyssey here. Seven nil. No goals on the board here for Simbo Fox. Them. What? They did it once. They bounced back once. Can they bounce back again? I mean, they did score two goals in the first series, which, you know, was consolation goals, but this game we see no goals coming up from Toxin. Odyssey just all over, all over Toxin this game. This is an absolute manslaughter of a game, you know. What are you going to have to say in the locker room here, you know? What can Toxin do? How are they going to bounce back from such a brutal onslaught? Yeah, I feel like they got to play with, you know, a lot more, you know, got to play more ballsy, I got to say, because, you know, they were allowing Trinitas a lot of room to do what they do best. You know, with Trinitas, they normally got time to do things like, right, we can make a passing play out of this, we have to go play. And so they know that with the space they're given, they have plenty of options. And, you know, for Symbios, they've got to limit that as much as possible. Perhaps play a little bit more as people call brain dead, um, you know, have your force back just chase down the player with the ball and give them as little time as possible to think in this one so i have to see how that will go for them we're into now game four here as we said two to one in favor of trinitas um, but the two guys they won were in you know completely dominant fashion as it is rush to try to get to out dylan does turn on this and takes it up to the skies Lachi beats him though, maybe going for a dunk, he nearly has it. Rush will surely be back on it, but Isaac cuts across to get it. Now Dylan, shooting opportunity off the crossbar, where's the follow up? Here comes Keza, but Lachi bangs it into the ceiling, but he will be able to rebound again, gets in, and that is Symbio. It's exactly what they needed, the short stint of pressure, and they're a goal up. Yep, goal up in this series, you know, one an improvement from last game, even in the first 30 seconds we say goal. They couldn't do it in five minutes last game, but they can do it in 30 seconds this game. You have to wonder what they have been saying in the VC, you know. What is being said to make them come back from such onslaught both games, you know. Once we see Toxin on the offense that we, that we didn't see last game, they're absolutely brutal. But once we see them in defense, they're in their own half. It's a bit of a slack, but we just need to see more and more pressure coming up from Toxin. And that will be the key to success, I think, for this game. Yeah, indeed, and they are bringing it in now. You see, they're playing a little bit more pushed up um, with them. You know, Dylan especially, he's been more of a third man uh, within this series. And you see him, you know, more towards the halfway line, which some would call dangerous, but it's working out here as there is a potential counter attack opportunity. Rish does get a bit too hard of a touch there. He wants to try to control that. There's the Kaza coming in, men to go try to dive in for it. He gets a piece of it. Now Isaac into the corner will be latched to chase this one down. Here comes Rush for a chance, but he actually misses. If Vincent can capitalize on this, maybe he could have a chance. And he will be able to find a passing opportunity. Gets one touch and actually off the ceiling, but he put it too far away from himself. But Isaac, double tap opportunity. Can he land this? He makes it to center. Open net for Lachi. Great swift counter attack from the side of Trinitas there. And now they're back in it. Oh, Isaac nearly getting that insane double tap, you know. But it's just a, a really lovely pass into Isaiah there. You know, wh what do you do with 1-1 one, one in the game here? Both teams have come off strong. I have no idea for the rest of the game. Right with the turtle 50 and it goes in his favour, shockingly. But Lachi now passing into his own corner. Right making the game. Passes it back into Lachi. Lachi tries getting the redirect back, but dealing with a counter-attack now. Can we see Reich clear this? Now it's Isaac's turn, but just Priest a little bit too hard now. Reich, one. Can he get over Keza now? Just misses the bump there. What would have been a really nice play there, but we have to notice the resilience from Tox in this game. Just being not all over Odyssey here, but managing to stay level field, especially after the last two games we've seen. Yeah, indeed, and that's uh, you know really testament to how they can bounce back as a team, and you know, they, they've stabilised this game as one to one currently. At this point, our last game was something like four nil, uh, so yeah, doing a much better job here. But Lachi gets a long ball down the field, and will be a task for getting this one out. Clears it over to 
Kazos, they've been fighting each other a lot more, and a rush or what clearance off the backboard. But now, two plus up again for Trinitas, has maybe an opportunity here as Minty towards that. Dylan steals it uh, just before, before the line, and we'll make it 2 1 there. And now, you see how your symbiote is playing more aggressive. It gives you the opportunity to capitalize uh, when their opponents make an error like that. The one double commit, and they're pouncing straight on it. Yeah, Minty just managing to find the open space to put the goal on target, but Dylan does steal it now. Keza with the counter attack. Minty gonna try to play it into mid, puts it into mid. Any of the team is there. Keza now with the offense, so it gets shut down by Rice. Dylan versus Isaac. Isaac gonna play it under, and that's an open net there for Rice to dominate. In, you know, maybe Toxin are playing a little bit too aggressive now. You know, being a bit over themselves, especially after that last goal, leaving Reich with an open net. They're not going to miss these open nets at this level. You have to understand, you have to rotate. You can't be uberly aggressive like they are been, you know. It works from time to time, but as soon as Odyssey can figure out how to dominate that and just use your third man as a playboy, now we see Isaac just shadowing. Imagine if Keza messes up now. Minty on the ball. What can Minty do? Solo play, tries playing into corner. Dylan's there to receive it, but Rice shutting it down. Rice now over Dylan, plays it into their corner. Keza with a pinch, Keza dies. What a pinch into uh, Odyssey's corner, though. Yeah, good pinch there. You know, I'd like to touch on the point you made earlier about the sort of aggressive nature of the Symbiotes team there. Well, CS has been working. You have to be really wary of these uh, rapid counter attacks. Uh, from the side of Trinitas, because if they could get that one boom down to uh, a teammate, then, you know, it is over, and the last man uh, off the side of um, your Symbiotes can't make it back in time, as there's a bit of a scuffle in front of the net there, Dylan has to make the save, and there are a minute left, all level in this game, and we are seeing some pressure coming up for Trinitas, it is Lachi from the ceiling, what can he do? Dylan really awkwardly touched it down into Keza, uh, but still, Isaac. With a touch there and now, both of the defenders on top of each other on the side of Symbiotes. It will be Minty now on his own. What can he do? Not a whole lot. Rush needs to buy time though, as teammates do rotate in. And now a demo onto Isaac. Well, actually, a huge beat though, and this could be a chance. He goes for the demo, was Rush with the shot. Dylan avoids that bump opportunity. And now it will be Isaac put it down the field, but a bit of a wasted chance there. And now, less than 20 seconds. Lat shape. what can he do with this? It is dropped down, Rish, downfield. Can he find a second touch? I think he will be able to off the back wall. It is a demo with a net, but big touch from Keza. He really had to get up to that, but it will work out for him as Keza now drops it down again into the side. Lat shape. they keep it up. He's going for the corner read, isn't he? Oh, it was a great effort, but I think this will end up touching overtime. Our first one of the day here on the A stream here. And then we'll see if the side of Trinitas can go to match point or Symbiotes can stay level. Can Symbiotes, Toxin, stay level here? We see Dylan with a counter attack, Dylan with a flick, and that's the game. What, what an anticlimactic get over time. You know, I was expecting at least a three minute overtime of just back and forth gameplay, but Dylan managed to get a flick just so early that honestly, weren't expecting it that, wow, you can write this stuff. This is amazing. Toxic managed to bounce back from two 7 0 gameplays. You know, if you're in Toxin, you're gonna be hyped now, you're not it's now two two in the series. Can can Toxin take this back like they did last game? Um I really think if they keep that level of performance off then absolutely uh they can but what they can't do is let their foot off the gas again. Because uh, I feel like that's what happened in those last two times where they, you know, at least the last time they got completely destroyed because they had a decent game and they let off and then Trinitas just absolutely destroyed them. So if they can just, you know, keep on it in this game and you'll play it exactly how you've been playing with that level of confidence, then I feel like they could actually end up, you know, going into the lead at this series. Um, but the thing is, at this point, you know, there's only a max of three games to go now that we're two to two. No more slip ups can happen, Symbiotes. And that's basically the big pointer here. Because if that happens, then, you know, they may be just barring out of the series uh, just like that. Yeah, you know, Toxin, they have to be on point for these last two games here. Can Toxin make it match point for them? Or is Odyssey just going to bounce back and score seven goals like they have done the past two times they took the goal and the wins, you know? 
But is this toxin going to be breaking the show and breaking this change? You know, can we see a toxin come back and make it match point is my question. Yeah, can he even manage to do that? I feel like the capability is there, but they really got to hold on his latch is threatening that double touch right off the get-go. And we have to see Dylan getting onto this one. Up and down, Latch having a shooting chance. We take goes to the double. And now will be Isaac shooting opportunity. But the players on this side of the field get on top of each other. They're unable to get back to it. Perhaps the most unlikely goal comes out here for Trinitas. Unlikely goal indeed, you know. Oh, that's an unfortunate. Dylan and Kes from the on the post they're having a little kiss, but uh that kiss cost them a goal, you know. 1-0 in the game here for Odyssey. This is how they came out in the first and third game, you know. Just scoring a goal right off the bat. And the pressure is already there for Odyssey. But we do see Minty with a big boom now. Isaac going to play off. Ooh, Minty's going to try 50, but goes back into Isa. Keza pinching it into mid. Keza tries putting it mid. It's anyone there to receive it. No. Dylan with a really weird touch. Manages to get it over one, but actually says no. Minty now. Zero boost passes it straight back down into either. Dylan gonna try boom it, booms it straight into Lachi. Can Lachi touch this? He can, but it's gonna pass straight into mid. Minty now can't get the touch down, but that's a miss there by Reich. Keza taking his time. You know, zero boost now. Lachi's gonna try making offense, but Minty's playing it very, very safe. Now we see Dylan with a touch. Keza could be trying to read this just for sure. Reich plays it over. Now Dylan is gonna try and make a play. But Lachi zooms in from their side and manages to get a touch. But Minty now with a save. Back to Reich. Back to middle. Can we see Lachi with a play? We cannot. But Isa with a shot. Dylan with an amazing save there. The ombrage of shots once again from Odyssey. But Toxin's defense have improved massively. Yeah, it's gotten better. At the moment, they're struggling to get the ball out. Because I'm have a chance here. But this fluff set and Lachi can take over. Now into the middle will be Dylan and... Actually, his teammate there and Minty getting up for it. Now a shooting chance because it has to get to it again. you got to wonder how long this defense lasts for the side of Symbiotes. Maybe they'll get a chance to break away here, but as it gets it over and now, they're in a bit of space. Taps it into the center. Minty and Dylan up for it. Really got to sort these columns out because if they're having those double comments over and over, eventually that might lead to a goal. That one was almost in. Now Dylan has to track back and now he will take it across net. But halfway through the game, I mean, as eventful, apart from that early goal, it's really been all Trinitas on attack, and now, really, they can actually just hold on to that if they really want to, but I know they're going to be going to try and get that two-goal push if they can. Isaac has the opportunity to do it. It is off the bar. Now, here goes Reggie will get onto it, and eventually, Symbiotes do crumble. Yep. Mint, he plays it into the corner, but then Isaac puts on backboard. You know, Keza thought that shot was on target, so he pre-jumps it, but, you know, Isaac... Puts it onto backboard and that throws Kezra off, leaving the open net there. You know, open net and Price is just going to score from it, you know. What an interesting game we've seen. It's not, it's a really close game, you know, even though it's 2-0. The plays that are coming out from Toxin are very, very good, but none of them are making it through Odyssey's defenders. But but now we see Odyssey back on the relief. Oh, I can't English, but, but once again, Rice just scores again. What... What is going to happen for Toxin? They are crumbling. Yeah, indeed, and they got to, you know, control this, you know, sooner rather than later. I mean, yeah, as we see here, the pressure for Toulouse is on match. Ten shots, just one of Symbiotes. And, I mean, yeah, it's just back to really business. It just seems like alternating games were ones where Symbiotes are actually competing very well. The others where Toulouse just have full control of the game, so... They got to sort this out quickly here, but you see Trinitas back on attack here. Fish off the crossbar will be dropping down because uh, awkwardly does manage to get it out and then Minty down the full rush. Kicking it up, he's up against still in the one-on-one -on -one situation. Maybe he's going to go for a hook shot here. No, he baits in the challenge. And now it will be because uh, to try to get it away. Now, we will put it into the side. Rush is going to be there. Plays it off the corner and it's just open net. We're on to defend our Isaac. This fakes it, draws it in, and gets the four. Yeah, we see Reich puts it into corner, and that Isaac just takes his time. Minty expecting the shot straight away, but just backflips there. It's a beautiful left play by Isaac, and it, the Odyssey of not breaking the strain of winning one brutally, and then just 
Toxin aren't able to break that chain, you know. They ha they need to get goals on the board starting now. You know, we see Keza on the attack. They do pass it into mid, but Dylan just gets the whiff. Now Minty's third, and this is going to be an open net for Isaac, and he's going to open it and then Rice try stealing it, but Isaac Gomba stomped him there, you know. As soon as we see Minty go for that, he knows he's messed up as third man. And that's 5-0 in the game for Oddity. 5-0 with just over a minute to go. Again, another standard performance of Trillitas. And then game six, because you see some guys have a close one and just, you know, get a one goal game seemingly. It's what's going to happen. But yeah, Trillitas putting himself in a great position now up onto match point once this game concludes. Because five goals are not going to be happening here for um, Symbiotes as there. Another shot comes in. It's off the post. And so they get away with that one, but it won't really matter at this rate. As we do see Isaac out to the side, and now maybe a center can come out through. No, he just goes for the solo play, but really just trying to run time off the clock, get this game over, done with, into the next one, and then try to test maybe close out the series. As now it's seeing going down the field, Keza into the side, Isaac baits in one, now he tries to bait another. Oh, he's done them dirty there, and now he's got Dylan to work, deal with. He does hold his nerve though, at least, to prevent a six going through, and now. 20 seconds to go. It will be Dylan trying to get out. Can he even score one at this rate? I don't think it's even possible as they are trapped in their half. Here comes Lachey into the middle again. Isaac for one more perhaps, though it won't be happening. And there we have it. It will be a 3-2 to two lead now for Trinitas. On to match point. One more and we'll be seeing them in the grand finals here. Yep, grand finals is looking very, very hopeful for Odyssey here, you know. 3-2 in the series makes it match point for Odyssey here, you know. But well, like we have been seeing, we did see Toxin just come back straight after the onslaught. You know, this is the lowest scoring game for Odyssey that they have won here, you know. Toxin not being able to put a goal on on the uh, target here, but we have only seen two shots coming up for Toxin, you know. The very first minute was so promising for Toxin. They look so dominant, but then all of a sudden it just crumbled. Odyssey just demolished Toxin in the last four minutes, you know. You have to understand that Toxin, are they able to come back for a third time, you know? Third time is the charm, as they say. But can they do it? That is the question. Or is Odyssey going to be another 4-2 win? Or are we going to be seeing a Game 7 commence? I mean, with the pattern of this series, it would suggest that Symbios would win another game and then get smashed in the final ma uh, game of the series. But I'm not sure it's going to repeat again. I think sure it's after done with going with that pattern. They want to close it out here. So based on that previous game, I must say sure it's after the favorites here. But Symbios need to open with something very strong. They need to get the first goal of the board to set the tone. If they can see first, then I think it's just game over, honestly. Um, no matter how early the goal comes, because They've proven that if they go down at the start of a game, they're not able to bounce it back. If they start well, then usually uh, they're able to carry that through the rest of the game and get a win. So let's see here. It's probably the most schizophrenic series of Rocket League I've ever seen. Um, but we'll see if the trends does continue. It's Latchley looking to get air trouble, forces two defenders up and maybe Rush can get us into the center. Now it's Isaac off the crossbar. That's exactly what Shredditas did. Gets the early goal here and put yourself in the best position you can. Yeah, Odyssey now with a beautiful just first just over the first ten seconds getting a goal on the goal on the scoreboard here. Toxin, this is not looking good already, you know, after that onslaught of the last match getting and then getting scored on the just over ten seconds there. You know, they really gotta bounce back and they gotta bounce back fast to make a statement to Odyssey that we're not out for the count just yet, so we are going to have to see Toxin buckle down and make some really good plays to get over. But at this rate, Odyssey are just going to be clipping and being just a better team overall at this rate. You know, Lachi with a beautiful play over Kezi and Minty's going to be caught on the post. It just leaves Isaac with, a, with an open net. And like I've been saying this whole series, he is not going to miss those. No, exactly. Isaac has been such a deadly striker so far. And of course, Lachi, we know what he can have. In the back, 2 0 now. We just have 30 seconds gone. Shredditas with the perfect start, but it will come undone a little bit here as Dylan, who's been playing back a lot here, does get the first goal here. And uh, you see him, great speed, finds the angle onto the net that he needs, and at least brings one back uh, for Symbiote. So if they can try and build off of that, they can claw their way back into this game, but I feel like Trinitas aren't going to let them off that easily. 
Yeah, you know, Dylan uh, did find the angle, which was a really good angle at that, you know. You have to give credit where credit is due. The, the goals that Tokens have scored and the whole series have been quality goals compared to Odyssey. You know, Odyssey have scored some absolutely banging goals, but the goals that have mattered for Tokens are absolute class, you know. We are going to have to see Toxin make a breakthrough for Luchi with another breakthrough, but it's on Toxin's defense this time. What what an onslaught already in that just over the first minute. 3-1 in the series. Luchi going over Keza and Dylan, you know. Whose ball was that to go for, Keza or Dylan? But it didn't matter because Luchi just dominated them anyway. I mean, it's Keza anyway, but it was just a lack of urgency in that one. He knows that he has to, you know, make a decision very quickly and stick to it. He made the commit, but... Seemingly not quickly enough, and you see me had to get behind them. In the end, both players go for that ball, and Lachey is able to beat both of them uh, just because of how the timing worked on that play. And so now we're seeing Dylan pass the slowest play down as much as he can. It's over to Lachi, can't make the touch. It's actually it's still centering up for the opponents, and Rish just capitalizes off of it. 4 1 now, Trinitas just doing all the work, and in fact, the opponent's doing the work for them in that case. Brilliant first from Rish, um... gets the fourth goal. Yeah, I know we said that Dylan was playing very well, but is he playing well for Toxin or is he playing well for Odyssey in this game, you know? 1-4 for, for Odyssey here, you know. Isaac passes it over to Reich. Reich tries going for it, but Dylan manages to clear it, not unrolling it to make it 5-1, you know. Isaac you now has plenty of time as he pops over Minty. Keza now goes up back to Minty. Can Minty pass in the middle? Now Keza's going to try to play out the corner. Reich now. Plays it back. Dylan with an unfortunate miss. Keza now. Ah, Dylan passes it into Minty now. Isaac not expecting that much of a touch. Still managed to get a touch over it. Lachi now. Does he have a reset? He does. Oh my god. That is the most unluckiest, unluckiest shot. He's not going to be happy. You know, Odyssey now are just compiling the pressure now. You know, Lachi's not going to be happy that he missed that reset double. You know, what an unfortunate way to miss it as well. Isaac now going to pass it down into the corner. Can Minty make a play now? But Isaac shuts it down if there even was a hope. Reich now gets a double tap from Wall. Dylan now with an offense. Minty now plays it off the back four. Can he make another play pass? Tries to get into mid. Gets into mid, but Isaac now tries moving it, but passes it straight to Dylan. Dylan now can Keza make a shot opportunity? He can. We need to see Toxin start making these plays and making them go in. Because at this rate, this is going to look like an Odyssey GG and Odyssey in the grand final. And they did see you know, actually had the conference you know, for the flip reset double there, and it was such a shame they didn't score it because my word, that would have been you know probably the highlight of the day. But here comes Dylan. All right, may get a second goal here, so having a little bit of hope, but is Latch actually not able to make the touch? And Dylan capitalizing off that small error bangs it in, and so. He's really been the saving grace uh, for this side, getting both the goals he has. So with two minutes left, absolutely they could bring us back, but Trinitas, uh, they've proven they're not going to let it slip very easily. As they were seeing this played off the backboard, Isaac coming in for a shot. It is blocked by Minty. Uh, Rish ends the middle, but I think Dylan will have this one. He puts it down the field, latches it up very early though. At this rate, you know, the side of things have to be playing pretty much perfectly, rely on maybe a mistake or two. From their opponents as that rush puts it off the back wall surely a shot to the counter eventually that actually actually leaves it but dylan you know what he's capable of love gets it over the kids and then minty has to go up for this he's only got himself to work with though and doesn't get the touch he needs at that point isaac looking for the double tap just barely misses there you know we see keza booming it getting a light touch you know isaac with an unfortunate miss there Reich plays it back into Lachi. Can Lachi passes it with the free flip? No, he can't. Dylan with a big boom. This could be the opportunity, but Isaac can get there. Makes it 3 4 to Toxin. Is Toxin clawing back at this game? Could we be seeing Toxin versus Odyssey game seven here? The possibility is there, Ginge. I will have to admit because Dylan now with a hat trick, capitalizing on for that. So they are slowly but surely pulling themselves back in it. So. It's gonna be an exciting end to the game, isn't it? Um, you know where we thought, when we thought, yeah, Trinitas is going to, you know, close it out very easily. But now with a huge demo, because a one versus one against Lachi takes a touch, but it is fed by Lachi, and now Isaac has to get it out. Dylan misses it, and now Lachi up for it. Solo play to try and make a goal happen. It is Kizza now off the back for once more, and no one's up for this. Isaac dips it into the net. 
and he may well have just crushed the hopes and dreams of his uh, symbiotes with that goal. Isaac looking like he's solidifying his legacy onto the grand finals for Oddity here. You know, a beautiful read, but we can't count out Toxin just yet. 40 seconds for two goals. Anything is possible. We have to see Toxin go on a mass onslaught, you know. They have to compile the pressure like they were doing so well in the game they won. But we have, we can't forget that Odyssey are just a better team. It's looking like at this rate. But keeping the pressure off of their side now, Isaac and Bryson looking for a little play. Isaac could be going for another double tap. Minzy shuts it down. 20 seconds on the clock. Can Toxin score two goals? It's looking like they have the offense now, but it's going to get shut down. I think we are seeing a grand finals of Odyssey. Ah, uh, yep, it has been solidified. Six seconds for the score, three goals, you know, two seconds for every goal. That's just not going to be possible, you know. No, not taking away any credit for Isaac there. What a beautiful read to manage to read it off of the top corner of the ball there. You know, this is just such an amazing series to be able to cast. Yeah, I mean, what a final goal to end that at uh, the series off as well. And to say Trinitas, fantastic performance in the end. GG's are well played, but credit to Symbiotes. They had some great moments in that series, but in the end, Trinitas, absolutely the better team. But I mean, Trinitas, congratulations into the grand finals for tomorrow. And I must say, looking like uh, one of the favorites to do well there. So fantastic stuff uh, from them. So. That'll be that. Um, it will be sure to ask they're into the losers finals. They'll be playing again uh, tomorrow at 5 p.m. CEST against the winner of our next match on stream. We still don't know who's going to be playing yet, uh, but one of the matches that decides one of those is ongoing on the B stream. Larger emails, Charlie. So if you want uh, to catch some more action that's ongoing, be sure to head over there. But from us here on the A stream, we're going to be taking a break. The next match uh, will be the losers bracket round three, which will be uh, whenever. The other two matches are so ongoing are done. So yeah, we'll take a break and we'll be back very shortly. Do not go anywhere.